hydrostatic equilibrium. So the one thing that makes the proto star not a main sequence star yet is because it's, it hasn't stopped collapsing. It's still collapsing, collapsing. It's still emitting jets of gas, collapsing, collapsing, emitting jets of gas. Finally, there's going to come a time it's not going to collapse forever because energy is going to be built up in the middle. It builds up energy, builds up energy, and then outward radiation pressure from this uh, energy stops the collapse. So hydrostatic equilibrium is achieved when the inward pull of gravity, which is causing the star to collapse, is finally balanced by the outward radiation pressure from the core of the star. And then that pressure pushes the star out. Finally, the star stops collapsing. The protostar does not collapse anymore. Now it is finally settled on the main sequence. It's known as a fully fledged main sequence star. The bipolar flows stop. No more energy shot in both direction. These newly formed main sequence stars are called what? ZAMs. Again, fancy name. Zero age main sequence star. Is there some ZAM being formed somewhere in the universe now? Is there a baby being born in the world now? How many? How many babies are being born? Well, just in Los Angeles, probably 1,000 or something. Somewhere somebody's crying, ah, you know. And around the world, somewhere, any second, some bunch of babies are being born. Is there stars being born? Oh, yeah, there's lots of ZAMs being born right now. Call them ZAM. Then give them name like Nicholas and um, Samantha or whatever you want. See? See here this one? These are the new stars that are being born. Zero age main sequence star ZAMs. The ZAMs are here. This is the main sequence right here. Main sequence. The time to become a ZAM depends on the mass of the collapsing protostar. Oh, let's go back to that previous chart I showed you, then I'll come back to this one. If you look here, one other thing we notice is what? If the original gas from which the star is born is half the solar mass, look how many years it takes for the, for the star to form. So from here to here, how many years does it take? 100 million years. See, just to become a star. From here to here, 30 million years. That's our sun. How many years did our sun take to form? 30 million years. From its birth, from the beginning, to the culmination, to becoming a main sequence star. It took 30 million years. Twice the mass of the sun, 8 million years. Five times the mass of the sun, 0.7 million years. 15 times the mass of the sun, 0.16 million years, which is 160,000 years. So what pattern do we see? The heavier the original gas, the faster it collapses. You see, 15, 160,000 years to form. If the star is light, it takes 100 million years to form. So the heavier the star is, it forms quicker because it has more gravity. You see? It makes sense, right? More gravity causes it to collapse faster. So what is our life? Amazing. We live 80 years. We think we're hot. We think we're the center of the universe. These stars take 30 million years just to form. And then they're going to live 10 billion years more. Okay. Our life is like a whiff. It's like kind of funny because we treat animals that way too. You know, I have a, a lizard at home and I give it crickets. And when I buy a cricket, if I buy the large ones, and if I buy too many of them, they're probably going to die before I give it to the lizard. The life of the cricket is about two, three weeks. If you buy a large uh, cricket, 
It's already lived about two weeks, so it's got one week to live, maybe a couple days to live. So I have to make sure I don't buy too many of the large crickets before I feed it to the lizard because within a couple of days, it's going to die. Okay, Our life is like we, we laugh at them, but the stars laugh at us. <laughs> right? What the heck are you guys? You think you're so hot? You're nothing, right? 